Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to create a virtual protection group in Zetro. So before we start this point, we have to quickly understand Zetro solution architecture. And as we are aware, Zetro is a Havlet Packet Enterprise Company. So Zetto solution architecture in our previous session, we talk about Zetto virtual manager, how to install on Windows Server. And uh, also we talk about Zetto virtual replication appliance on ESXi host level. We verified two methods, how to install on single ESXi host and how to install on a cluster level, multiple ESXi host. The same way we can configure on our disaster recovery site. Now, before we start the continuous replication, it requires to configure a protection groups. Within our vCenter level, some group of application VMs, like you can take a, any web servers or application servers or database servers, any of your tier based applications or anything, you can just make group of those virtual mission and initiate a virtual protection group. When you enable a protection group for the multiple VM, it will start replicating to the secondary site or disaster recovery site. So the importance of virtual protection group is to start or to kick off replication and protect our virtual mission, create a virtual protection group on the production site. So even if you see in our architecture diagram, in our disaster site, there is no VMs. When you enable your production group only, all this VM will start replicating to the DR site, okay? that point we are talking here and for this lab example we will protect a customer relationship management crm application in short form crm so crm application i will show you in our lab now and a virtual protection group is an organization unit of virtual mission typically a multi vm application if you have multiple vms running with crm application those multiple vms only we can enable the virtual protection group and that will be failed over and recovered together vms that must contain consistency and right order fidelity together okay now creating a vpg allows as to decide boot ordering, define recover SLS, and pre-configure failover and test parameters, including host, storage, and networking. Okay, so let's try to observe how to create a virtual protection group in our lab system. So let's log into the our Zerto hands-on labs. So when we log into the Jetto user interface, JetUI console, so here we have to look for a tab called VPG. VPG means virtual protection groups. If you see in our tab currently, there is no virtual protection group. If you want to configure in the right side, you can see the icon plus new VPG. So just click on this one, adding the new VPG. And VPG type, see remote DR and continuous backup. That is the benefit of this VPG group. And you can use a default option. If we select the drop down menu, we have a other options also local continuous backup and data mobility and migration. Multiple options are available. But in this session, we are going to verify the first method remote DR and continuous backup. Okay, so when you select that option, we have to provide a VPG name is mandatory. So we can configure any VPG name or else we'll follow the lab guide, what the name the given. So similar name we can also provide. So if you see in our Zeto lab guide, they given a VPG name as CRM. So we can use the same name. Seems lab disconnected let me reconnect so normally when you select the crm it will start configure let me refresh the screen
Okay, it's reconnected. So we'll select the full screen. And here we can enter the VPG name as CRM. And now the priority we can leave it as medium and the description. If you want to keep any description, we can keep let's say CRM VMs. We are preparing the protection group for mainly for CRM VMs. Now click on next. In the next step, they clearly choose we have to choose the protected VMs. Currently, the left side column all showing as unprotected VMs and whatever the VMs coming in the right side is considered as a protected VMs. If you want to protect only the CRM, either you can search with the CRM or in on screen, we can see there are three CRM VMs. So present I am selecting these three CRM VMs and now click on right arrow so so that this crm vms are added to the protection group virtual protection group now vm section is completed now click on next and here the recovery site we in during our previous session we talk about we have a production site dr site so select the drop down menu and choose our dr site see production site name is hpe production site local and dr site name is disaster recovery site so within the disaster recovery site we have to choose the servers see let's say jeto lab dr cluster you can choose the specific esxa host within the dr cluster or you can choose the cluster any method is fine and data store also whatever the data stores are available in our disaster recovery site and choose the specific disaster recovery site and SLA service level agreement based on our general history we can use one day and target RPO alert if the RPO is more than five minutes we will get a alert and test reminder is mainly for six months in generally disaster recovery test we have to do for every half yearly or some organization may, the, may use or annual basis also and some may give use one month three months it's subjected to be customer's choice okay and advanced enable van traffic compression so this is recommended even if you see in our architecture diagram we mentioned replication will go through the van traffic only okay so now click on next so replication portion is completed and storage by default it is chosen whatever the option we selected all the storages are become as a thin format and continuous sync is the default synchronization method so use the default option and under the recovery even we have to choose the network one let's say currently all our vms are running in a vm network and the test network also will choose as a vm network and the default recovery folder let's say recovery folder we have multiple folders disaster discover virtual machine vcls and slash let me choose the root directory okay and the pre recovery script post recovery scripts if we have any internal scripts we have to map here or else leave it blank and now click on next see we already completed the next portion uh, recovery portion now next portion we can use the default network vm network only now click on next and the long term retention even if you want to enable a long term retention we can enable the retention normally the retention they may use for a daily weekly monthly and yearly depends on our organization policy we can follow the schedule so anyhow it's our test lab i'm just using the default option not enabling the long term retention services okay so now click on next so this is a final summary wizard. We are going to replicate our VMs from primary site to disaster recovery site. But our what is our replication method is our replication virtual port group name is sorry virtual protection group name is CRM. So CRM we selected the three VMs. These three VMs are moving from production site to disaster recovery site. OK, and long term retention is not configured, but recovery network is configured. Replication is configured. Now click on done. When you click on done, it will start replicating the VMs from source to destination. See the replication virtual protection group is created. See CRM group is created. It's protected with a three VMs, three CRM VMs. See the protection status is initializing. Creating production group is 5%. Once it reached the 100 percent, the protection is established. Connection established between source to destination and also replication will processing from source production site to disaster recovery site. OK, so currently syncing is the VPG status is syncing. OK, and production status also initializing.
Okay, it may take a while because we selected three VMs. So to finish the initial sync may take a while. And it depends on our virtual machine storage also. If the virtual machine size is in running with a 1 TB or 2 TB of disk, generally it may take a while. It depends on our network bandwidth and WAN traffic also. OK, so initial sync now it is at the 41 percent. So within CRM is our VPG name virtual protection group name and in brackets count is considered as a number of VMs. So here CRM in brackets three VMs. And the VPG type remote only. So remote means from the production side to it's remotely it's replicating to the disaster recovery site. And the priority we selected as medium. So you can change the priority to high, low, medium depends on our virtual machine functionality. There are if you have a test VMs, you can use low and if you have a production VMs, you can mention as a medium. If you have highly critical or mission critical applications, you can mention as a priority high. OK. See now production status is meeting SLA, so syncing is already completed. OK, so that's it for today. Next session, I will show you how to monitor whether the replication and syncing health status is normal or not. And also we can do the failover test in the next session. OK, thank you. Please do view, like, share and subscribe to my channel, Grand Cloud Garage. If you're already subscribed, thanks for your support and encouragement. Bye for now.